Welcome to this week's Resistance Download, The Gift. We're celebrating Christmas this week, so I want to start by saying Merry Christmas. And one of the traditions that we have in our American culture especially is the giving and receiving of gifts. Now obviously to our culture, many people do this that aren't even believers. It's kind of a sign of charity, a sign of generosity, a sign of blessing. But the truth is that the greatest gift that you and I can receive this Christmas obviously isn't wrapped with paper. The greatest gift that you and I are able to receive this Christmas is the gift of friendship. The gift of God with us, God understanding us, God experiencing us. And we really see this become evident in the story of Jesus when it comes to Jesus and the early days of Joseph and Mary before he's even born on earth. Obviously we know Jesus has always existed. He existed before he came to the earth fully God and fully man. But it says these words in Matthew chapter one, verse 18. Now the birth of Jesus Christ took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been betrothed to Joseph, before they came together, she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. And her husband Joseph, being a just man and unwilling to put her to shame, resolved to divorce her quietly. But as he considered these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not fear to take Mary as your wife, for what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you shall give him the name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All this was spoken to fulfill what the prophet Lord had said through the prophet. These words, Behold, the virgin shall conceive and give birth to a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which means God with us. When Joseph woke from the sleep, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded him and took his wife, but he knew her not until she gave birth to a son, and they called his name Jesus. Now, can you imagine being Mary and Joseph at this time? Mary is around 16 years old or so. You know, she's betrothed to this guy. In the Hebraic culture, when you were betrothed, that meant that you were basically married without the physical sexual benefits. So you were together, he was providing, he was preparing a home for her. And then once they were officially married, then they would enjoy physical intimacy. So Joseph all of a sudden finds out that this lady he's betrothed to, who he thinks is holy and just, is pregnant. He's freaking out. He can't believe what's happening. He, he's thinking that she's cheated on him. She's thinking that the, all the world is falling apart. What are people going to say about him? And what's going to happen to Mary? Because she could have been murdered in her culture for committing adultery. And in the midst of all this chaos and confusion, Mary finds comfort from the angel coming to her. But then Joseph, as he's about to quietly try to divorce and kind of set aside this relationship, the Lord appears to him. And the most significant thing that is told to Joseph is that not only are they going to have a baby, that it's going to be the Son of God, fully God, fully man, which is amazing, but the comforting words that God gives to the angel is that his name will be Emmanuel, which means God with us. That means this Christmas season, no matter what you're going through, God understands. Because in Jesus, we get someone who gets us. In Jesus, we have someone who understands our pains and our failings. Jesus lived and he, he went through life and he ate and he drank and he had people betray him and he had friends break trust with him and he had, uh, came from a family that was fairly poor that he had to make ends meet. We believe most likely when he was younger his father passed away and so now he's left to kind of help provide for his family. Jesus had other brothers and sisters that came from Mary and Joseph after his birth and he had to deal with all these complex things that you and I deal with. And yet the comforting words that God gives Joseph in the midst of his chaos is, Emmanuel, God with us, or God with you. And I want to encourage you this Christmas, no matter what you're going through, no matter what you're experiencing, good, bad, all in between. And throughout this year, I want to challenge you. This day reminds you and I that God is with us, that God will never leave us or forsake us, that he's walking through our valleys. He's walking through our difficult times. He's always there, ever present. The Bible says he will never leave you or forsake you. So I encourage you with these words this Christmas season, that the greatest gift you and I have ever received is the gift of relationship and friendship with Jesus. So enjoy it, trust him, lean on him, turn to him and allow him to do incredible things in your life. And I believe this Christmas season will be the greatest time for you to refocus, to talk to him, to invest in your relationship, to pray and to seek his face and that God will do amazing things as a result. I love you and believe in you. Remember this Christmas season, the greatest gift is not in wrapping or bows, but it's in relationship with Jesus, our Savior. See you next time.